Hello! In this video, you will learn how to analyze a test result from the SCADE test environment. We will use here a model implemented in SCADE suite to introduce you to the SCADE model and test coverage. Here I'm using an example of cruise control, which is the model provided with the tool. Let's set my test project as active and go to my testing environment under the Test View tab. As you can see here, I have prepared my test environment. I've already loaded my scenario. In the settings of my tests, I've previously selected to see all of them, but note that you can also select to see only the failed ones. Now I run my tests. The generated documents are displayed in the outputs window. You could double click on them for a deeper look, but now we'll focus on the displayed results. From the test results view, the past test steps are displayed in green and the failed ones in red. You can filter them as you need, or by status like now. So, if I take this test step, for example, and if we go to its scenario to analyze what it tests, we can see that on this line at step 35, we ask the model to check if the cruise control is on. Now, let's pause here. Where may the fail status come from? It could come from my model and design choices, my test scenario, or the software or system requirements. Here I'm sure of my test scenario and my requirements, so the mistake will have to come from my model. So I will run the failed scenario with my SCADE suite model. I will then be able to simulate each step and analyze where the origin of the mistake is. This scenario is generated for the simulation from a record and contains several existing scenarios, such as CSV and SSS files, including aliases and init files. The scenario generated also allows independence between the testing and design teams. Right-click on your test case and choose Generate Scenario for the simulation. Now, let's come back to the design view. Set your design project as active and launch your simulation. And from this icon, I will load the scenario we just saved. We're going to simulate the behavior to see step by step where the mistake comes from. So let's run the scenario in continuous mode. It will automatically stop when failed check occurs at step 35. So click OK. Now you can see what is wrong in the design. In purple, you've displayed the current state at this cycle step. Look at this operator. All the outputs are false besides one. We have an AND operator. Indeed, that's not the one I need. So I terminate the simulation and come back to my operator. Then I'm picking a OR operator and change it into the model. Now we have to check that this was the mistake we were looking for. I run my simulation again. and now I have the behavior I was expecting. So, I come back to my testing environment under the Test View tab. I set my test project as active. I run back the tests, and here we go. It works, and the tests are now passed. So the change I have done in my design after simulation and test verification was appropriate. I can also have all my results displayed in a test conformance report. If you want to have a complete overview of your test strategy, we can check now the coverage of the model. After the analysis from the SCADE test model coverage tool, you see displayed in green operators with a complete coverage, in yellow a partial one, and in red with no coverage. And if this is more convenient, you can switch to percentages. Once you get a full test model coverage, you may be interested in the code coverage. With this button, you get a report of my code coverage. The report is then generated under HTML format. Thank you.